Hi, my name is Rob Knight, and welcome to Tips and Settings for the Olympus EM1S. Today I'm going to show you how to add high resolution shooting to the drive mode button on the top of the camera. Now this may seem almost like a silly kind of a tip, right? How to add something to one of the menus on the EM1X. But it's something that saved me a lot of time because uh, I was really excited about the handheld high resolution mode on the EM1X. So where you can get a 50 megapixel image without having to use a tripod and the camera stitches together multiple images um, to give you that high res shot. So I thought that was really cool. But in order to activate it, as far as I could tell, you'd have to go into the menu, go to this, the second little camera icon, go down to high res shot, select that. And you can select um, the, uh, the post shutter release delay time, which is cool. So if you're, if you're shooting on a tripod, I might go with something like maybe two seconds or something. So I could press the shutter release and the camera could settle for a second before it took that high res shot. Now, if you're doing it handheld, I don't see any reason to have any delay on it because you're holding the thing in your hand anyway. So I think you're, you're not really going to see any benefit from that. So you say, okay, and there you go. Now you're in handheld high resolution shot mode. Okay, so I've got, to, I've got to click the button a few times. I've got to go into the menu. Uh, that, was, that seemed a little cumbersome to me. And uh, so what I did was add it down here to my menu. So the first thing in my menu is high res shot. And you can see the other things that I have in here uh, that I might want to get to um, quickly just for reference there. Being the big nerd that I am, I went to the manual. Uh, I downloaded the PDF advanced manual for the EM1X and I was reading through it. And I saw that you could add high resolution shot to the drive mode. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like in the super control panel. If you press the OK button and, and open the SCP, uh, you've got right under your, uh, your autofocus area, you've got your drive settings, right? So I can press the OK button here and I can see, well now I've got high res shot in there in the drive settings, okay? Um, single shot, high res, you can adjust which of these settings show up in this menu. So if you don't ever use sequential high, you can uncheck that box and it's not gonna show up in your menu. So what that means is when you're using the super control panel, you can use the front dial to just scroll through your settings. You don't have to click on it and go through that in the menu, which I think is really, really handy. Great, so I see that in the manual and I look and, and um, and I'm going to show you what I saw actually when I looked at this because what happens is if you have high res shot turned off and you go to this menu guess what it's not there not there at all I was like wait a minute I, I checked the box in the menu and it's not there what happened so it occurred I realized after honestly farting around with it for a few minutes that you have to keep high res shot turned on in this menu just like you want it okay so now we're in handheld handheld high res shot mode right so now i go into the super control panel and there it is in high res shot mode but you don't have to turn it off that way you don't have to go back in the menu to turn it off you can simply uh, do that and now you're in single shot Right? So if you want to activate handheld high res shot, you just turn it back to there um, in your drive settings and you're cooking. This also applies to the drive mode button on top of the camera, which again is super handy. So you can just press that button and go to these settings without having to open the super control panel. Just saves you pressing one button. But you have to be sure and turn that on in the menu for high res shooting. I mentioned that you can decide which one of the drive settings appear in the drive mode menu or associated with the drive mode button. So I'm going to show you how to edit that list. We're going to go in the uh, custom menu and go down to D1. And this is another thing that's not exactly self-explanatory, I think. It, it took me a minute to figure it out. So I'm going to go down and instead of saying drive settings or something like that, it just has the icon for the button, which really makes sense, but that's not what I was looking for. So I'm going to click that, hit OK, and now here are all the options for that drive mode button, right? So the ones that have the check mark are going to appear in the list, and the ones without the check mark are not. Pretty self-explanatory. So I decided on which ones I want in my list, the ones that I use the most, and uh, uncheck the ones I don't. So it's just that much less to scroll through. At the bottom of the list is high resolution shot. Be sure that's checked. 
be sure that high resolution mode is turned on in the menu and then you can select it via the super control panel or the drive mode button at the top of your screen. So if you have any questions or you're wanting to know about some other functions or tips about the EM1X or the EM1 Mark II, please leave a comment or email me at rob at robnightphotography.com. Uh, you can check out my workshops and training at robnightphotography.com or at creativeimmersionphotography.com. I'll see you next time.